You can't display a toad in a fine restaurant like this while the good folks here go right off their feet. Hey, I just don't think it's right keeping him under wraps like we's ashamed of him. Well, if that is Pete, then I am ashamed of him. The way I see it, he got what he deserved, fornicating with some horror Babylon. These things don't happen for no reason, Dalmar. It's obviously some kind of judgment on Pete's character. Well, the two of us was fixing to fornicate. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to excuse my rusticated friend, unaccustomed as he is to city manners and all. Hmm? I guess we'll uh, have ourselves a couple of steaks and some uh, retinue potatoes and wash it all down with your uh, fine mm. spider one. Oh, and uh, don't suppose you'd have uh, any nits or grubs back in the pantry. Mm. The chef could prepare us. Uh, mm. Just uh, bring us a couple of pieces of raw cabbage. Thank you. That kind of barnyard land. I don't believe I've seen you boys around here before. Allow me to introduce myself. Name of Daniel Teague. Known in these precincts as Big Dan Teague. Oh, to those who are pressed for time, Big Dan, too caught. How do you do, Big Dan? My name is Ulysses Everett McGill. This is my associate, Delmar O'Donnell. I detect, like me, you're endowed with the gift of gab. I flatter myself that such is the case. In my line of work, it is plumb necessary. The one thing you don't want is air in the conversation. Once again, we find ourselves in agreement. What kind of work do you do, Big Dan? Sales, Mr. McGill, sales. And what do I sell? The truth. Every blessed word of it from Genesis on down to Revelations. That's right, the word of God. Which let me tell you, there is damn good money in during these times of woe and want. People are looking for answers and Big Dan sells the only book that's got them. And what do you do, you and your uh, tongue-tied friend? We, uh... We're adventurers, sir. Uh, currently pursuing a certain opportunity, but we're open to others as well. I like your style, young man, so I'm going to propose you a proposition. You'll cover my bill so I don't have to run back upstairs, get your waitress to pack your dinner picnic style, and we shall retire to more private environs where I will tell you how there are vast amounts of money to be made in the service of God Almighty. Why not? Nothing else I can use in civilized conversation. Don't forget your shoebox, friend. <laughs> <laughs>